Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how to take your makeup look from day to night. You know, after work, you kind of want to go to the bar, maybe you have a date, you want to spice it up a little bit. So I'm showing you how to take your everyday face routine or whatever makeup look that you had on today and elevating it just for the night out. Super easy and simple to do, and I love the way that it turned out. And I use pretty affordable products. Um, so yeah, you don't have to break the bank in order to look good to go out and my whole face routine I filmed in my basic beginner and makeup tutorial. I followed that same routine so you can go ahead and watch that video. So if you're interested in how I achieve this look, then let's get started. Alright, my face is looking kind of crazy so let's fix it. I'm going to brush up my eyebrows just a tad and now I'm going to work on mattifying my face. I'm taking Max Mineralize Skin Finish in the color Deep Dark in a large powder brush and I'm just going to mattify and set my entire face. My face doesn't get too oily because of my Smashbox foundation but of course a little oil tries to peek through. And then I'm going to brighten up underneath my eyes using the Laura Mercier Translucent Pressed Powder. I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer on and this is my CoverGirl Ebony Bronze Bronzer and I'm just applying that to the perimeter of my face just to warm it up a bit. I'm going to add some contour to my nose using my Black Radiance Pressed Powder in the color Ebony of course. I'm going to prime my eyes using MAC Laying Low and I am using a domed brush to apply that to my lid and blending that out to a very even layer. I'm going to set that down using the translucent powder and an angled blending brush. Going in with my crease color using Max Corduroy and a large fluffy brush, adding that to my crease. This is going to be my transition shade to blend in the next shades I'm going to use. I'm applying Inglots 297 and a domed brush to the outer V of my eye and blending that in just a tad bit into the crease of my eyes. I like this brush because it's, it applies a lot of pigment to the areas that I want it to, but I also can blend with it, so it's perfect. I'm going back in with Max Corduroy to just blend that shadow out. A little trick that I learned from Jaclyn Hill is to apply some of your translucent powder to the outer portions of your eyes to make sure that line is very nice and crisp and it really works. I'm going in with ColourPop's Ultra Glitter Super Shock Shadow in the color Sidekick. I recently got this in the mail. This is the most gorgeous color ever and it really pops on my skin tone. I'm applying this first using a brush, but then I'm going to go back in using my finger to make sure it's very pigmented. I just wanted to get that base layer on my eyelid first before I went in with my finger. I'm going to go back into that purple Inglot color and just blend it out to that orange so you don't have any harsh lines. And I'm really going to carve out that outer V. I'm going in with Expensive Pink by MAC to the inner corner of my eyes. You can skip this step. I actually didn't like the way that it turned out, but I am using a black liner to the lower to my lower lash line and applying that Inglot shadow using a flat brush. It just turned muddy. It was probably the ColourPop eyeliner, but I just did not the, like the way that it turned out. Off camera, I'm going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes and apply these lashes from Ardell. I'm going to apply some of this Milani Red Vino Baked Blush to the apples of my cheeks. I'm 
And then I'm gonna set my face using this Pixie Glow Mist. I'm going pretty neutral with the lip today since my eyes are a little bit fancy or, you know, dramatic. So I'm going in with NYX's Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Club Hopper. And then I'm gonna apply Revlon's Mink Lipstick on top. That is just the perfect nude for dark skin. I love it. And then I'm going in with a clear gloss from MAC on top. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.